Lee, what a game of ups and downs, ends in a draw in the end here in Mansfield, your thoughts? Yeah, um, first half we were nowhere near um, the standards we should be at and could be at. Um, we were lucky to be 1-0 down at half time. Um, could have been 3-0 at half time. Um, and I told the players that and we needed to be better. Um, and we were much better. A uh, slight tweak in formation and um, sort of did help us to be fair, but we didn't win enough first balls, second balls in the first half. And they ran all over us, Mansfield, you know, disappointing because they played on Wednesday, we didn't have a midweek game, and uh, we played on the Tuesday, obviously we had another 24 hours rest, so um, yeah, it was all about the second half reaction and trying to win the second half, which, which we did, but um, we were unfortunate in the end, the last two minutes to score a deflected goal. What you said at half time must have made a big impact because what an exceptional start to the second half it was. Yeah, no, brilliant. And I think um, I just let the players, that's, that's not good enough. The standards that the gaffer and myself have set here since we came in, we're not going to suffer that type of performance, you know. And, um, you know, they knew that. And the way the way I was at half time with them, they, you know, they knew that it had to be better. And um, the players need to take responsibility for that themselves. You know, we don't, you shouldn't have to wait till half time until they get a kick up the backside to change. And, um, but we need to make sure that we learn from that first half performance because if we do that, majority of the time you lose games. You'll be done by half time. Um, you can't have a, a, a game of two halves like that. As you say, a game of two halves, and it might be another trip where we feel like we could have picked up three points. Definitely, you know, being, being um, three when out like we was, we should be seeing that out. Um, to be fair, their second goal is a good goal, great finish, and that volleys it in the top one corner. Um, and then two minutes to go, it's a deflection and it loops over Cat into the goal. Um, probably in hindsight, a draw was a fair result. Um, but it's hard to take that when you are 3 2 up with, with two minutes to go. And two more goals for Max Waters, that puts him, I think it's the best ratio minutes to, to goals in the country at the moment for Max. Yeah, he's been great. Um, as I said, Max has attracted a lot of attention and rightly so. But um, he'd be the first one to say his teammates are, you know, the players that do all the hard work, he just puts the ball in the net and he's good at that. Um, you know, he's he's not had, really had a pre-season so he's, we're building him up at the moment. Ideally, if some of his stats you want to play him 90 minutes of every game but at the same time we don't want him breaking down, we can't afford to lose players of his ilk um, if they have a massive impact on the team. But I thought Ashley Nadison and Tom Nichols up top both deserved the goal today but didn't really, didn't really fall from two draws and two really entertaining games this week and it's time for fans to return next weekend. Yeah, look forward to that and so are the players I think. It's exciting times to get, get fans back in, you know. It's, it's been strange, or it was strange at first, not having fans at, at, the, at the games and in the grounds, but it's now going to be strange on having them in, you know, having, um, getting people back with you from behind you and having a bit of fun and, you know, but enjoying the atmosphere and um, it'd be nice. I think it's something the lads are excited about and uh, hopefully we can start to build that fan base back up again. Sadly, the gap for Nottingham is in attendance day for personal reasons, mm. but a landmark today is the one year anniversary of yourself and, and the gap for coming in. Yeah, probably. yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, like you say, it's a year since we played with Stephen Edge away, our first game, and um, yeah, we've tried to just implement hard-working characters, team, team players, um, but individual talents within that team. and. Um, when that works, it's great. It's like, like the second half today, it shows what a good team we can be. But when it doesn't work and all the lads aren't working hard enough, then, like most teams, you fail. So, um, yeah, we'll keep working hard and keep trying to improve the team, try, keep trying to improve the club. And, you know, um, hopefully we can do that by getting another win starting at home. Thanks, Lee. Cheers. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Thank you.